Well, hello everybody. Uh, I'd like to give you a quick video on universal HDMI adapter, uh, which is compatible with uh, MHL enabled devices. This is a cable that was purchased from. Um, let me get the sharp nest here. Um, was purchased from T-Mobile directly, as you can see with the price of 20 bucks okay it's compatible with with HTC sensation and as you see here allows you to hook up your MHL enabled handset or tablet to a TV or computer monitor requires HDMI cable and micro USB power cable sold separately okay so um, I've tried it out it works fine uh, as you can see, this is the HDMI end. Oh, come on, focus here. Okay, this is the HDMI end, the full size. And this here is the micro US USB port. Okay. So this would plug in, plug into your phone like so, where your HDMI. I mean, I'm sorry, which you, where your USB, micro USB charger is. The phone just came back on, but. Um, now, here's the deal. If you just connect HDMI cable to this and connect it straight to a TV, you will notice that uh, it will not play. This needs power. Uh, as you can see on the side of this, you have a. Uh, uh, micro USB port which you take your included charger and a cable and then you plug it in to your plug it into your um, micro USB port right here okay I'm not gonna plug it in I just want to demonstrate it and that's when you're gonna get uh, the power and your phone is actually gonna send the uh, HDMI signal out to the TV um, I have tried different um, chargers. I have an old charger from um, my GPS, a USB charger, and it did not work. Um, I don't know if it didn't have enough power. Uh, so just so you know, uh, it may work with other chargers, but uh, I had a different one that did not work. So use the uh, existing one, the one that came with HTC, HTC Sensation. Again, you have to power, you have to plug it into the outlet, plug in the power right into the this little box here, and this goes to your phone. And then on this end, you plug in your HDMI cable to your TV. What you will have is you will have a little icon that's going to come over here. It's going to say HDMI. And uh, it's going to display basically mirror whatever you see on the phone is going to be displayed on the TV. Um, it does not work when you flip the phone sideways. Uh, it's not going to work in uh, landscape mode. It's only going to work in portrait mode. Uh, however, if you play pictures, um, the pictures that are taken with the camera in such way will be displayed in such way. If you take pictures um, that way, they're also going to be displayed that way on TV. And you can also play movies and... Uh, and uh, video that you record as well as pictures movies obviously have to be um, like for example movies from um, iTunes have to be uh, stripped off of uh, the uh, the co copyright protection because they will not let you I try to um, even though I paid for the movies and you know, they're on my computer and I try to put them on the HTC sensation and I was not able to play an, an HTC sensation. So again, this cable is available right now. Um, I went to a T-Mobile store and there was only one. Um, so, but as, I just want to let everybody know that it's available, it's out there, uh, and it's it's sold through T-Mobile. Uh, it's out there um, because I know a lot of people have been talking about, you know, like I had a. Uh, GX2 uh, initially with T-Mobile which I really liked 
the fact that you can just connect your HDMI cable right into it um, micro HDMI to, to the top of the phone if I remember correctly and then you would uh, play whatever you had on on your uh, TV with this phone you need this particular adapter uh, right now there's a coupon uh, you can search for a coupon online it's 50% off coupon and I think expires at the end of this month it's a 50% coupon for any accessory I think it's just one accessory so this thing is 20 bucks you you print that coupon and you bring it to a T-Mobile store and they will give you a 50% off um, so that's pretty much it. it it works fine you know I I do miss it. I remember the GX2 was, uh, you could play anything on GX2 basically off of the phone and it did not require you to connect power to it. This particular phone, you do need to have, have it powered at all times while it's connected to a TV. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, so that's it. Uh, just a quick, quick little uh, video. I just want to let everybody know that this thing is out there and it works.